Hello, I'm Shadow Caval and welcome to Breach and Clear. So Breach and Clear is a port of a mobile game onto the PC, which was greenlit for Steam. Uh, right, so let's go on, shall we? This is my SES Alpha squad, which I've uh, been messing around with, getting to uh, learn the game. We're actually going to start a new squad, which to create more than one squad will cost 500 silver, which you get for completing some missions, so that's fine. So you can, t you can play as um, several different squads, and each squad has a bonus to one of the attributes they have. So you can put play J JTF2, which gives you 75% accuracy. You can play as the Rangers, which gives you 75% health. RS Special Forces, which gives you 75% sp speed. The Seals, which gives you 75% reaction. The SES, which gives it to evasion. And the Chaos Gate, which gives it to your special, which is uh, determined by troop type. So my oh my other team was SAS. I am going to play as possibly either Joint Task Force Two or Rangers or possibly SEALs, one of these three. I'm going to Boast Health is nice, but I think accuracy or reaction is probably better. Uh I'm gonna play jo Joint Task Force Two for the 75% accuracy bonus. So Right, the next step is to choose your squad, so to choose your faces. So we're going to choose. Right, on the last time I made a squad, it had the guys with the biggest beard. So he's going to be my first dude, and he is going to be the fire team leader. Uh, this gives him leadership skill, which and also draw fight level one and morale boost level thirty. There are several different other um, like tactics they're called, different tactics when you level up. So yeah, he's going to be our fire team leader Jackson Miller yeah that'll do I'm gonna right so three more three more soldiers so we're gonna have this guy here because he's got an awesome little goatee and he's gonna be our hmm, weapon sergeant so it improves damage of shots fired yep you're right Anthony that's fine and we're gonna choose this bloke here Right, so you've got direct action, which increases the time for enemies to acquire the soldier. Breacher increases his distance to throw explosives and radius of effect. A medic, which improves effectiveness of medifacts used. And intelligence. I'm going to have direct action, so he can move and take longer for the enemies to actually see him and acquire him as a target. Albert Pace, that'll do. And one more, we're going to have... Let's have a look. Let's pick... You know what? I'm gonna go with, go with the guy with the big beard. This bloke here, right? He's going to be either medic or intelligence. Um, t -t -t -t, let's have a look. So intelligence gives you a 360 degree view of enemies within limited radius of the soldier. At level one, you can place a door wedge, preventing enemies from using the door. Or a medic, uh, you can improve your effectiveness of the medipacks used. You can use a medipack to revive a soldier that is down. Level one. I'm gonna take medic because that seems pretty damn useful, and we're gonna call this. Let's call him Tony Black. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Confirm. So, this is my squad. They're all, all level one soldiers. You can see the stats. You can see the layout. Currently, they're all using. Sop mod. No, actually they're not. I can give them all sop mods because I bought sop mods in my previous squad. So let's do that, shall we? Uh, right, so I've upgraded the guns already with sop mods. So let's... Right, yeah, let's get playing. So the missions. So the terrorist hunt missions, you can play in Afghanistan, Turkey, China, Germany, Mexico, Russia or Colombia. We can also do bomb defusal and escape hunt. We're just going to play through terrorist hunt. I'm going to start Afghanistan on the first level. So let's go. Let's play some breach and clear. So when you first start, you can choose which doors you want to breach through. We're going to set these two guys to A and these two guys to B and breach them simultaneously. So this is the planning phase. So right, we're going to go with these two guys. This guy is going to breach in this way. And end up facing the door, but as he comes through, he's going to face quickly face that way. Roger. This guy is going to come through here. He's going to end up facing this door. He is going to glance over there when he gets there, and when he gets here, 
Let's look into there, and then we get to here. We'll just look straight forward, basically. Oh, and when it's here, it's going to look into that corner there, which had to have this whole room covered. Got it. All right, these two guys over here are going to come into this room. One of them's going to go onto the corner of this table here and face this way. When he comes in, he's going to quickly glance at the bottom corner there. This guy is going to come in and he's going to go to the bottom corner of this table and he's going to cover this area. When he comes in, he's going to quickly glance over at this section here, and then there, and then just into the bottom corner, just here. So once we've set them up in the first tactical phase, click the breach Stay button recorded. and watch the action go. Contact. Oh, and that's one bad guy down, two bad guys down. Oh, there's a lot of bad guys in this room here. I may have... Uh... Never mind. Right, so planning phase two. So this guy... He's facing the wrong direction, he's gonna... Oh, hang on. No, undo. He's gonna... Face down there. Yes, sir. This bloke here is going to... Let do that. He's going to face... You can't actually see anything there. So he's going to... Can I change my view? It's better. Top-down view. Move here, and face that way. And I can move him a uh, half speed. Which slightly increases, actually, obviously de decreases his uh, speed, which is, or the distance he can move, which is fine. Right, let's get these yeah. two guys going. This guy down here is going to breach through this door here. He's going to end up on this corner, and when he comes through the door, he's going to look there, then he's going to look up here, and then can he get to? You can see that corner there. And a quick another look up there before he gets that way and ends up facing that way. Uh, this Roger. guy here, we're going to send him through the door onto this corner of the desk because he enters the room. He's going to look into that corner, catching this very bottom bit here. Uh, I think we're done, so let's breach, shall we? Oh. Yep, is. and there we go. Killed all the bad guys. And we've got a four star fat, which is the best you can get. So let's view the after action report. So he can see the XP we've gained and the silver we've gained, which costs us 500 by new squad. And here we get our troops leveling up. And also now he can see your, uh, your team stats. We killed six enemies. We took 7.7 .7 seconds to clear the area. We had two soldiers wounded but none of them critically wounded so that's fine so we all leveled up to level three so if we continue and what I'm going to do because we get 10 points to start with I'm just going to put a point to each of these actually no I'm not going to put a point into this I'm going to leave accuracy because we're in 75% because of our team so that's just going to get ignored and I'm just going to distribute the points between the rest of the stats to boost them all up a bit. So I'm going to do the exactly the same for everyone else. So they get a couple of points in each. Quick, all right, this stats, right? The action time is improves the time to acquire targets. It accuracy improves chances of shots hitting uh, and of critical shots. Speed improves movement speed and distance units can travel up each round. Health obviously improves the amount of damage the soldier can take. First aid improves the effects of medipacks used, and evasion improves the chance of evading shots. So let's just stick a hole. So yeah, only the medic can revive people. Oh, hang on, hold on here. Only the medic can revive people that have actually been taken down. You, I believe everyone else can use a medic to heal people that are still up and standing and moving around. So, right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.